So when you take time out of the equation, now you can relax. Now you can do things without stressing, being overwhelmed. Now you can do things without destroying things. Don't let people rush you. Do things on your own time. Be selfish with your time. That's a whole other topic we will. Welcome in YouTube. It's Amber Manaya coming straight from my broken vanity. You can probably see my makeup because I shattered my glass with nice perfumes. But it's giving a little vibe right there. I'm kind of cool with it. If you're new to the channel, please like, comment, and subscribe. I am on to something new. Still the same person. Still going to give you the same content. But I want to go a little deeper if that's okay. Okay? So this, this video is for somebody. I like to listen to inspirational videos because little things resonate. Okay? So this video is for somebody. You either clicked on this title because you feel like you're running out of time or you're just interested in something of the sort. So the problem is what I've realized. I decided recently, time does not exist. And why I say time does not exist, because you know, like when you go through something and people say, oh, time will heal, um, give it time, everything gets better with time. I do not believe that whatsoever, because say you are in a relationship, the relationship is over and everybody's telling you, oh, time will heal. You know, everything you've been through, time will heal. You've been with this, you could have been with this person for one year. You could have been with this person for 10 years. The thing is, if you stay in the sadness and you wallow there, you could do that for three years and still not get over it. Or you could go out and experience life and try to... Just block it out and try new things and you can get over it right away. If it was a relationship that you just ended and you find someone better than who you were with and they click with you, then you could be not instantly healed, but they could take that burden of pressure and hurt and embarrassment off of you. So that can, And they could be the greatest person to you. That last relationship could have ended so you could find that new one. You never know. So when people say time heals all, I don't believe that. I always tell people experience, new experiences heal all. If you were, you know, if that relationship held you back and now you can go out and meet new people, go on vacations, experience things you've never experienced before. That's going to make you happier. It's going to boost your mood. It's going to put better people around you. And it's going to put better people in your life. And the lack that you once had could all be gone. As quick or as instantly as you let it. You have to be open. You have to know that things will get better. Um, as well, when it comes to time in a day. You know how we're all so busy, apparently. And we don't have enough time in one day. 24 hours is not enough. 24 hours is not enough. But who's to say, mind you, yes, we do need sleep. We're regulated on when we should sleep because we have to go to a job. And they set us up this way to think that every day we have to abide by a clock. What I realized is not having to go to a job whenever my body needs a nap i take that i take that i don't care what time of day what time of night and if i wake up at three in the morning and i'm inspired to put out some content or to read on, on something or to get something finished it's gonna make me feel good so why do i have to do it at a certain time of day that is something that was made up to hold us back and to keep us stressed when I realized that I was going to let go of the thought that I didn't have enough time and the thought that time exists, I instantly felt better. When you wake up late in the day and you're trying to get things accomplished and the time is just getting away, apparently, it overwhelms you and it stresses you out. And it makes it harder for you to continue to get the things done that you were supposed to be doing. So when you take time out of the equation... Now you can relax. Now you can do things without stressing, being overwhelmed. Now you can do things without destroying things. Like when I was running on time, I was forgetting to do things. I was breaking things. I was this vanity. I was, I felt like I was changing purses at the top and then perfumes fell and 
Before they fell, I said to myself, I should take them all down and do this the right way. And I said, no, I'm just going to, you know, I'm just going to move them to the side a little bit. And boom, boom, pow, those perfumes are made out of something else because they busted this thing open, okay? Um, going to have to get a new one. But if I would have just slowed down as well, went to the post office, shipped a couple packages, gave them the wrong QR code for one, then they told me they couldn't give it back to me so I could change it. So one package went where it was not supposed to go. If I would have just slowed down, because actually that day I was trying to get my car ready to go out on Turo in a rush, all of a sudden earlier than it was supposed to be. Don't let people rush you. Do things on your own time. Be selfish with your time. That's a whole other topic we will talk about on a different day. But be very, very selfish and be very, what is the word? Um, what is the word? Direct? It's not direct, but be intentional with what you're trying to do. If you say for, for me, for instance, I'm interested in being a pole dancer slash stripper, bartender. Um, I want to teach flexibility. I'm a YouTuber. I'm a swimsuit model. What else do I do? I do insurance. I do Medicare. What else do I do? I think there's, oh, I have Turo that I do. Rent my cars out. I have Airbnb. That's, I just named 10 things that I do on a day. Imagine having to do all those things every single day. So I've broken them up into, I'm going to do everything I need to do on it, then move on to the next thing. I don't care what time it is. I don't care if it's too late, too early. There's no such thing as time. I do not want to rush myself. You should not want to rush yourself. Take your time, get things done the right way breathe and then move on to the next thing if you're finding that work or your job or school or whatever it is that you know is taking up most of your time is stressing you out overwhelming you and you can't get to the things that you want to get to and you know you're not making progress and you know you're being held back then it's time to change something so you can have your time back because time don't really exist okay it's just something that they told us. Yeah, we see the sun go up and the, you know, sun go down. But that doesn't mean you can't do certain things at a certain part of the day. And I know a lot of people who are brainwashed by themselves and by society, of course, to think that, oh, once the sun goes down, my brain shuts off. Like, I can't even. That's how I used to feel. I feel like that in the winter. When it's cold, I can't function and I just want to hibernate. And that is a time thing. That's a season. So what do I have to do? I have to turn up my season, turn the heater up and get to it, put on more clothes and get to it, change my season, okay? As well as time. I'm more productive at night, so that's a good thing. Because I know, I, like I said, I know people who, as soon as it gets dark outside, oh, brain shuts off. But they'll still be up doing other nothing, a whole lot of nothing, wasting time when they could be using that time to actually be productive, but it's all in your head. Remember, everything that's holding you back is something that you've been brain that's been brainwashed into your head or something that you've decided to let in. Don't let these negative notions on time in. Stop it now. You can do it. Remember, time does not heal all. Experience and breaking things down to understand, to understand what happened, how you contributed, how you can be better. When you can really come to terms with things like that and not be in denial, it's not time, it's now experience that is helping you to get better, okay? So I hope this resonated with somebody. I just, I had something to say. Like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know what other things you'd like me to discuss, what things are bothering you, my take on it. I want to help people. I'm here to inspire you. Help me. <laughs> like, comment, and subscribe.